By the time his story ends, you call him Maul. Don't say Darth. Formerly Darth. Now just Maul. What fun! Ever since watching The Phantom Menace, like everybody else on the planet, I've become enamored with uh, Darth Theus Maulus. Uh, Darth Maul is a fan favorite, clearly. He's my favorite. Every Halloween or Rebel Scum podcast, I wear my dollar store Darth Maul mask because I love me some Darth Maul. Every time he comes back, I'm like, I'm fine with this. I, You know, I'm not a fan of characters coming back, but Darth Maul, I'm like, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I thought today, you know, we could sit back, relax, and let's just talk about and listen to the story of Darth Maul. Like and subscribe. I must have revenge. Darth Maul was one of the most iconic characters in the Star Wars universe. Known for his striking appearance, menacing demeanor, and tragic arc, his story is explored across various media, including films, animated series, books, and comics. Darth Maul was born on Dathomir, a planet inhabited by the Knight Brothers and Knight Sisters, both of whom had a deep connection to the dark side of the Force. Maul's mother, Talzin, was a powerful Knight Sister, his potential in the dark side caught the attention of Darth Sidious, also known as Shivi P, Emperor Palpatine, who was seeking an apprentice to help him execute the Sith plan to conquer the galaxy. Sidious kidnapped Maul as a child and trained him in the ways of the Sith. Sidious, always calculated and ruthless, raised Maul in secret, subjecting him to intense training and physical conditioning. Honing him into a skilled warrior, Maul came adept in lightsaber combat, martial arts, and the use of the dark side. Developing a fanatical hatred for the Jedi, his skill with a double-bladed lightsaber made him a deadly opponent. Maul's first appearance in the Star Wars saga was in Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Sidious assigned him to the task of tracking down Queen Amidala to stop her from reaching Coruscant and persuading the Senate to intervene in the invasion of Naboo. Maul was dispatched to deal with the Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, who protected the Queen. In one of the most iconic moments of Star Wars film history, Maul engaged the two Jedi in fierce duel on Naboo. He killed Qui-Gon Jinn, but was ultimately defeated by Obi-Wan, who sliced Maul in half. Maul's body fell into a reactor shaft, seemingly ending his life. But that's not all. Maul did not die. Using his intense rage and connection to the dark side, he survived his injuries. He fell into a trash compactor and was transported to the junk planet of Lotho Minor. There, Maul descended into madness, using his dark side power to construct a spider-like body from junk to replace his severed lower half. For years, Maul lived in isolation, consumed by hatred for Obi-Wan and fueled by his desire for revenge. Eventually, his brother Savage Opress, who had been trained by Mother Talzin and Darth Tyrannus, a.k.a. Count Dooku, found him on Lotho Minor. Savage brought Maul back to Dathomir, where Talzin used her magic to restore Maul's mind and body, giving him mechanical legs. Once restored, Maul's first priority was revenge against Obi-Wan Kenobi. He began orchestrating attacks across the galaxy to lure Kenobi out, even allying with the criminal underworld to build his power. Maul and Savage ultimately faced Obi-Wan several times, but Kenobi always managed to escape. Maul's thirst for vengeance only grew with each encounter. Realizing that power was essential to exact his revenge and to challenge Sidious, Maul began to build a criminal empire. He formed the Shadow Collective, uniting various underworld factions, including the Hut Cartel, Black Sun, and the Pike Syndicate. Maul's rise to power culminated in his takeover of Mandalore with the help of Death Watch, a Mandalorian splinter group led by Pre Vizsla. Maul became the de facto ruler of Mandalore after defeating Vizsla in a single combat. Claiming the Darksaber, a legendary weapon with deep ties to Mandalorian culture, however, Maul's power grab soon attracted the attention of Darth Sidious, who could not allow his former apprentice to become a rival. In the Clone Wars animated series, Sidious personally confronted Maul and Savage on Mandalore. 
In a spectacular duel, Sidious easily overpowered both brothers, killing Savage and taking Maul prisoner. Sidious had no intention of killing Maul, as he still had a use for him. Maul was tortured, but he eventually escaped with the help of his criminal allies. Maul reappears during the Siege of Mandalore, a key event in the final days of the Clone Wars. As shown in Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Season 7, Maul foresaw the fall of the Jedi and the rise of the Sith, but did not know the specifics of Sidious's plan, Order 66. Every choice you have made has led you to this moment. He tried to warn Ahsoka Tano, a former Jedi, about the coming darkness, but she refused to join him. Ahsoka and Maul dueled on Mandalore, and she ultimately captured him. Execute Order 66. Before he could be turned over to the Republic, Order 66 was executed and chaos ensued. Maul escaped during the ensuing conflict, setting the stage for his life in the shadows of the Empire. In the years following the Clone Wars, Maul became the leader of Crimson Dawn, a powerful criminal organization. His role in Solo A Star Wars Story reveals his secretive operations in the criminal underworld. Maul manipulated events from behind the scenes, continuing to seek greater power, even though his dreams of overthrowing Sidious had been shattered. Years later, during the events of Star Wars Rebels, Maul resurfaces again, still seeking revenge against Obi-Wan. After being stranded on the planet Malachor, Maul uses young Jedi Ezra Bridger to help him in his search for Kenobi, whom he eventually tracks to Tatooine. In their final encounter, Maul confronts Obi-Wan, now an old hermit, in a short and decisive duel. <laughs> Obi-Wan kills Maul. In his final moments, Maul asks if the boy, Luke Skywalker, that Obi-Wan is protecting is the Chosen One, and Kenobi confirms it. Maul dies in Obi-Wan's arms, believing that Luke would one day destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force. Darth Maul's story is one of tragedy, revenge, and the quest for power. You will have revenge. Though he was a tool of Darth Sidious for most of his life, Maul carved out his own legacy as a warrior, leader, and survivor. His hatred of the Jedi and his relentless pursuit of revenge shaped much of the galaxy's criminal underworld during the Empire's rise. Maul remains a fan favorite character due to his complex nature and depth added to his story in the Clone Wars and Rebels animated series, turning him from a mere villain in The Phantom Menace into a tragic figure with a rich, multifaceted story. And that is my story of Darth Maul. Let me know if you like Darth Maul, if you love his story, or if you're like, hey, he's a one-off. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may the force of others be with you.